Hi there, and welcome to the Getting Started with Registers and Members webinar. My name is Ashley, and I'm part of the Partner Success Team here at Zave Singapore. If there are any questions during today's webinar, please do feel free to type them into the bottom corner question box. Alternatively, you can email partner at getzave.com. A member of our team will respond via the chat or email. In this session, we will look to cover the new features offered by the Registers and Members update and how you can use it to more effectively manage your own compliance across your own portfolio of companies and individuals. We'll be covering what's included and how it can help you, navigation of members and registers, and adding, merging, and updating the members and registers. Before we jump into the demo, let's cover how the new update works. A member is a unique record that stores all relevant compliance information for an individual or corporation. This includes all their particulars, beneficial holdings, KYC documents, date of check, and so on. Each member can be assigned membership to multiple organizations and positions. And these members can also be assigned to each entity's virtual register. This means that a company's details are updated and they'll be reflected across your entire client base. You can also assign beneficial holdings to members to assist in identifying ultimate beneficial owners. This makes it simpler to keep track of individuals and directors across multiple entities. So how can it help you? Members provide a centralized location for all individual and corporate shareholder information and they allow you to track stakeholders across multiple organizations. This means you can now effectively manage changes to stakeholders and more easily identify potential compliance risks. Now let's jump into the demo and see what's changed in Zave Hub. After we've logged into Zave Hub from partner.getzave.com, we'll be on our home screen dashboard. Members can be managed from the Members tab, which is available on the left-hand navigation menu in Zave Hub at the bottom. From our members section, we can view all the individual stakeholder records across our entire client base of companies. This page is split into individual members on the left, including shareholders and directors, and corporate on the right, which includes corporate shareholders. From this page, we can add new members, merge existing members, access the KYC forms for each member, and update existing member details. Members can be created by your team and automatically when your clients submit new information. New members can be created in three ways. First, they can be automatically created when your incorporation tool has been filled out by your clients. Second, they can be manually created through adding an individual on the right or adding a corporate in the case of a corporate shareholder. Third and finally, for Singapore companies, members can be extracted automatically from a biz file. Once members are created, they'll appear in the members section and can be searched by typing in the name, nationality, email address, and date of birth. As members are created, it may become necessary to merge them. For instance, if you're creating a new company and managing existing company with a shared director or shareholder, after the incorporation form has been submitted, this member will appear in the members section. And at this point, it'll be necessary for you to confirm that the two individuals are indeed the same person. To merge these members, simply click on the two members by selecting the checkboxes on the left and hit the merge button. This will collate all the information on the individual. And if the member has multiple email addresses or nationalities, these will be actually stored on the new member with the first selection becoming the primary member or nationality. Members will also automatically be merged for individuals if we detect the same name, date of birth and ID number. And for corporate shareholders, if we just detect the same company name, registration number and jurisdiction. You can also manage the collection of KYC documents through the members section. When a member has an email attached, you can choose to send them directly an online KYC form to collect their key particulars and documents. 
To do this, we simply click on the email icon and hit yes when the message asks us to confirm. The member will receive a branded notification from your firm asking for them to submit their KYC details. To preview the form and also submit items directly, you can view this on the KYC link, which is the link icon in the member section. Here we can see what the member still needs to submit to us, as well as review the PEP acknowledgement and the truth declaration on the KYC form. To view and make changes to a member, we can click on the update icon on the right side of the member section. Here we can view all the particulars of the member, see a complete record of their KYC documents, as well as in add beneficial holdings to the member. Any fields changed here will be reflected across all entities this individual is connected to. Here we can also store the KYC check information and associated risk level associated with the member. All the attachments will also be stored at the bottom of the member section here. And if any new or updated documents are submitted at, at any point, they'll be available in the archive in the document archive against each member. To assign a member to a directorship or shareholding, we'll need to navigate to the entity we'd like to add them onto. Let's head on over to the Entities section to select one. All current members on this entity can be viewed under the Members section. Shortcuts to edit the member details and to send out the KYC link and email are also available here too. To add a new member to a position on the entity, it will depend on what type of role we're looking to add them into. For directors, we head into the boardroom tab. We hit create member director. We choose the member ID from the existing list of members in our database. We select an appointment status, remuneration, and also confirm whether or not they're a nominee director. Pending directors will serve as any who are awaiting updates with the regulator and previous directors can be used to store the existing directors, previous appointments, appointment date and resignation date. If we're looking to add in a new shareholder, this can be added in under the Transactions tab. Here we can view the details of all share movements added to date from the point of incorporation for this company. To add in a new transaction or record a previous transaction, we hit Create Transaction. And from here, for a new allotment, we pick New Shares or for a share transfer, we pick transfer shares. Transfer shares can only be picked from an existing member to any other existing member in Zave Hub. After confirming security type, transaction status, share count, and price per share, we're able to create the new transaction. We can also view a graphical representation of the current share structure underneath the cap table in the entity. And this will be something we're also able to invite our client to view in a Zave subscription. This update also includes a full electronic register for each entity that we're managing. To view this, head on over to the registers section. And here we can view and update all the relevant controllers of significant interest, controllers of significant control, officers, nominee directors, and charges that are relevant against this entity. In the case of controllers of significant interest and nominee directors, these will be added in automatically depending on what's been set up across directorships and shareholdings. If we'd like to add in 
a new controller of significant control or a new officer, we simply need to select the relevant button and add them in from the list. Alternatively, if we'd like to create charges, we can create them and specify the particulars for the charge from this section as well, as well as attach any agreement that's relevant. That about wraps it up for the members and registers session today. Again, if there are any further questions, please don't hesitate to send them through on the question box in the bottom corner. Alternatively, feel free to email partner at getsafe.com and a member of our team will reach out to respond. Hope you've enjoyed the session today and have a great day.